Guys, welcome back in to another 10 team fantasy football 2022 mock draft. This time, drafting with the last pick of the first round, so 10th overall. Uh, and I'll just kind of go through my strategy. Normally, you know, I've done first overall, fifth overall. Now we are completing the cycle and we are drafting 10th overall. And I am actually going to be targeting Dalvin Cook. And possibly a receiver. I don't know. There's a lot of interesting choices, but probably Dalvin Cook. I will say the one thing. Dalvin Cook is an injury risk, but it can be completely mitigated by also drafting Alexander Matson. So I think if you're going to draft Dalvin Cook, Alexander Matson is a virtual must. And then you're pretty much covered because if Dalvin Cook is playing, he's healthy, he's going to put up really good stats. If he gets injured, Matson is going to put up really good stats. You win-win either way. Uh, I think there was one situation last year where both were like Dalvin uh, Cook was kind of banged up and Matson was playing, and that's like the worst case scenario if they get into a, to a committee, but I don't expect that to happen. So I'll be looking for Dalvin Cook getting my RB1. And then really, it's interesting. There's Debo Samuel, Stefan Diggs, C.D. Lamb, who's going to get a crazy target share. Maybe I go Joe Mixon, the other, another running back. So we'll just see who's available right now. And, and we'll let these people, uh, if they want to draft here, Olsen, you want to draft? Jesus. These, they leave their computer and then they auto-pick. They let the time run. They left their computer. And then Justin Jefferson gets picked, so Delvin, or excuse me, um, Devontae Adams, I don't know about Devontae Adams this year, like if I had the ninth pick, I think that's a bad pick to have, honestly, I, I don't know if I would draft Devontae Adams, at some point you'd have to think Devontae Adams would have a down season, or he'd get injured, and now he's not with Aaron Rodgers, so I don't know, guys, can we pick someone please, I, I, you guys, you wouldn't believe how long it took me to get into this 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 mock draft. It took me, I think, 16 minutes. And he ends up taking Najee Harris. I would have taken Jamar Chase there. What if Jamar Chase falls to me? Let's <laughs> Wait, they're not auto-picking. He might fall to me. Jamar Chase falls to me. I'm going to speak it into existence right now. This is literally the slowest mock draft. These picks are not saved, ladies and gentlemen. All right, I am going to be picking Delvin Cook and probably Debo. Yeah, I might take Joe Mixon just to stack up running backs. But yeah, I probably want to balance my team a little bit here. We want to do a little balance. It's all right. Derek. Oh, okay. Jamar Chase did get taken. All right, please don't take Delvin Cook. Thank you. Thank you for your cooperation. I appreciate it. And then you could make an argument C.D. Lamb should be the pick here. Or Dig. Really, any of these receivers. They're all going to have... The only issue with D with Debo is Trey Lance. And they also have Brandon Iowa. You know what? I'll take Stefan Diggs. I'll take Stefan Diggs and I'll feel fine with it. Maybe I should have picked Debo there. But I just worry... Trey Lance is going to get rushing touchdowns. Wow, and then he took Joe Mixon. I like that pick. I like taking Joe Mixon, being aggressive there. Who did he get? Oh, he took... I don't like the Adams pick. I was going to say he's got a good team. All right, guys, we are coming up on my third and fourth round picks, and we are seeing Travis Kelsey go way earlier, which is good because I don't know why Travis Kelsey is ranked so low. Um, but if I can get my hands on DJ Moore, I would love to do that. Other than that, guys, I'll be honest. I think drafting with the last pick of the first round is not good value. Like, I do not. I mean, I'll pre I might maybe J.K. Dobbins, although it's annoying with Lamar Jackson being there. I don't know, man. All right, you know what? Maybe I'll... I, I mean, I'll take either Keenan Allen or DJ Moore. Saquon is Saquon. If he's healthy... I mean, what are the chances he's going to be healthy? I could draft him right now. It's a mock draft. It doesn't matter. But it's one of those things with Saquon where it's like the third round, man. I, I, I don't... It, again, if he's healthy, it's a steal. But if he's not, it's like fool me once, fool me twice, fool me 20 times with Saquon. It's every year he's injured. T. Hig, yeah, Josh Jacobs is, is not a good value pick there at all. Someone must be a Josh Jacobs fan. Guys, we've been... <laughs> These people take Zeke. 
Oh my goodness. So yeah, I'm going to take DJ Moore. Okay, he took Saquon. So yeah, DJ Moore seems... And honestly, I might go Keenan Allen. <sighs> it's tough because I do... I, I should probably just draft J.K. Dobbins, right? I'll draft DJ Moore and I'll draft probably J.K. Dobbins. I need a running back. I need another running back. And I do love J.K. Dobbins. I think... It is annoying with J.K. Dobbins, the, the Lamar Jackson factor, where Lamar is going to steal rushing touchdowns probably. If you have a running quarterback, that's what normally happens. But we All right, guys, I am going to take Alexander Matson with, I'm kidding. I do have to take, I got to remember to take him. Imagine someone steals him from me. But no, give me Amon Ross St. Brown. Oh, Jerry Judy is available too. Yes, please. There's, Darren Waller's not available, is he? Darren Waller's available? Maybe I go Darren Waller here. Wow, Darren Wall and Kittle. So maybe we go tight at maybe we go Judy and and Kittle. Judy and Waller. I I do like the idea of getting a very solid tight end. All right, Kittle got picked. I can respect that pick. I'll respect that. Mahomes, I cannot respect something like that. All right, we're on the clock. Let's make it count. There's DK Metcalf. It's tough with DK Metcalf, guys. It's it's Drew Lock. What is going on with Drew Lock? Man, there's a lot of options for me. Now I am gonna take Waller. It's a risk. You gotta risk it sometimes. This draft doesn't mean anything. Darren Waller, and then you know what? We need some help. We gotta take Jerry Judy. Although there's a lot of options. That's these ten team leagues. They're easy. There's so many options, um, but there is my uh, flex, Jerry Judy, and then Darren Waller, the tight end, and then I'll probably end up just drafting best player available. All right, we are slowly limping to the finish line here. I mean, we this has been a, this is like a, te a tooth extraction with this mock draft, guys. It is unbelievably slow. Dalton Schultz, I do not like Dalton Schultz. Learn how to block. It's just annoying. If you're going to be a tight end, you need a block. Michael Thomas seems like good value, but I do need a running back. I do have to take Tony Pollard. I've been getting sniped. People have been drafting Tony Pollard really early. Uh, Miles Sanders, I mean, I get... What do you do with Miles Sanders in a 10-team league? Like, seriously. Like, what's the value there? You know? I guess you could say the same thing about Tony Pollard, but I'm confident... I, I don't know. I, I like Tony Pollard a lot. I think he's going to get significant touches to the point where Zeke might get injured. Something might happen. I don't know. 10-team league. There's just so many options with 10-team leagues. I swear. Not that. Not. that I'm not interested in Gabriel Davis. I'm not interested in Tyler Lockett. I'm not interested in Cordero Patterson. But, like, look at this. Miles Sanders, Michael Thomas, Drake London. Even Devontae Smith. The, it, it's almost like... There's too many good options. Okay, Michael Thomas got picked. Let's see if he takes Miles Sanders. Juju? I don't know about that one, man. So I actually have two picks. So I can go ahead and take two. I could take Miles Sanders. I don't know, man. Do I just draft Miles? Yeah, I'll just draft Miles Sanders as a value play. They're forcing me to take Miles Sanders. And then I'll take Tony Pollard. So now I've shored up my running backs. Guys, I've got three receivers now. Stefan Diggs, DJ Moore, and Judy, and I've got four running backs. So I'm I'm pretty much set. Like, I don't even know what I would do with Miles Sanders. What do you like Miles Sanders gets 10 touches a game? It's really weird how they do that backfield situation. And folks, we've got the Bills defense being drafted here in round eight. And we've got Zachary Ertz going. In round eight. All right, guys, I will take Jalen Hurts if he is available. If Jalen, well, Jalen Hurts always gets sniped from me, man. These guys, they're snipers. They snipe these players. It's amazing. But um, Kareem Hunt, that's actually good value for Kareem. I just, Kareem Hunt, actually, this is great value for Kareem Hunt. Imagine an injury to Nick Chubb and he gets sniped. Now that was he that would have been good value. I I agree. That was a good pick. But um AJ Dillon, yeah, so I really don't need a running back. I would like Kenneth Walker. Receivers, I love Garrett Wilson. Maybe Garrett Wilson would be one of my picks. What was the other position I needed? I'm not taking am I taking a quarterback here? 
Now, do I need to take one? Wait, I wanted to get Alexander. Where's Matson ranked? Oh, I'm fine. I don't need. Oh, that's fine. That's fine. Yeah, Matson is really low. So what I'm gonna do is I might just take Trey Lance. I mean, all these quarter. You know what? No, there's no point. There's no point in doing a quarterback. Do I take AJ Dillon? All right, we're gonna take we're gonna take Garrett Wilson. Get a nice infrastructure. Tight ends available. There could be an injury. Yeah, I like that. So the thing is, guys, there's two tight ends. I want to talk about this really quickly. If you're in a 10-team league, it might behoove you to possibly invest. Not a, If you're investing in Darren Waller, we know he's got injury issues. He's a, he's a big guy. George Kittle, the exact same thing. I did this with my last draft when I drafted George Kittle. I then went and I took Mike Kosicki. This draft... I mean, realistically, I mean, you know, it's not like if I were to take Trey Lance there, I'm just reaching. So why not take uh, Dallas Goddard, who's another really solid tight end, and even in the situation where Dallas Goddard breaks out and Darren Waller is healthy, I could just trade one of them. So I actually think that's a really good pick. If you do the strategy where you're taking either Darren Waller or George Kittle, they're both good value technically because they're injured, because they get injured a lot. I like that strategy. Wow, all these quarterbacks are going. Hopefully, Trey... Well, it doesn't even matter with the quarterbacks, but that's an interesting tight end strategy where you find good value, if they stay healthy, in George Kittle and Waller, but you also guard against them you know, possibly not being healthy by taking another high-level tight end. This way... If Waller gets injured, you're not stuck looking on the waiver wire at Noah Fant. Fant. I almost said <laughs> Noah Fant or like Dawson Knox or someone like that. You've got a solid tight end who's probably going to at least get seven or eight targets. That's just an intro. Guys, I'm literally trying to fill time in between picks and this draft, I mean, I it's like a torture. Like I stepped in and I started recording and I am currently being tortured by these people. Brought, well, actually, I guess I took 10, I took 20 seconds to make a pick. I can't even complain about these people. Why would you take Rashard Penny over Kenneth Walker? That's not smart, sir. And the Sky Moore pick? Let me see. Let me see who these guys are drafting. Yeah, Claypool, I don't want. James Robinson, I don't want. Want What? Oh, my, the Miami backfield is just a total mess. S Stafford, hopefully I get Trey Lance. Honestly, it really doesn't even matter if I don't get Trey Lance. In a 10-team league, the quarterbacks are so ridiculous. All right, let's... Make sure I get Trey Lance here. Gasicki. All right, that's a good pick. Kenneth Walker. That is not a good pick. James Robinson. Make sure I get Trey Lance here. And then, all right, Naheem Hines. That is another bad pick. Trey Lance. And then I'm going to go. How many spots do I, I have? Three bench. So I know two of the bench spots. What I'm going to do now. We might just take value. Yeah. But there's really not even any value here. There's just a bunch of crap. No offense to any of these players, but holy, I am not interested. Who should we, seriously, who should, should I just draft Edmonds? I don't even know who to draft. Um, I guess I'll just draft Chase Edmonds as a flyer. I mean, realist, because because I would have just reached really bad if I would have taken. Maybe I should have taken. Ro maybe uh, you know who I should have taken? Ayuk. Well, does it really matter if I have how many receivers do I have? I have th four receive. Yeah, I probably should have taken Ayuk there. I guess it doesn't really matter. I don't really care, honestly. I'm just gonna go ahead and take my two guys that I always take, which is David. Be I always talk about David Bell and. So what I'm going to do, and I'll just say this, and then I'll review the draft. I'm going to take David Bell, I'm going to take Tyler Algier, and I'm going to take my kicker defense, and then I'll review. All right, guys, so I actually, I almost forgot to draft Alexander Matson. I was able to nab him. M make sure if you get Dalvin Cook, you draft Matson. That's That was almost a mistake on my part. A little bit, you know, just not paying attention in a mock draft. But guys, my overall team, I took Dalvin Cook. Once again, make sure you get Alexander Matson. It should be completely fine. Even if Dalvin Cook gets injured, we've seen Matson step in and put up crazy numbers. So best of both worlds. It does, 
you know, cost an extra roster spot to have Matson, but Dalvin Cook is an injury risk at this point in his career with the amount of workload he's had. Make sure you get Matson. Stefan Diggs, you know, I could have went uh, Debo Samuel here, either one, or I could have gone CD Lamb. So there's a lot of receivers, but should be a, a, another really good year for Diggs. DJ Moore is a guy I've always liked. J.K. Dobbins. So with J.K. coming back from injury, he should have fresh, fresh legs. And I'm expecting, you know, maybe 1,100, 1,200 yards. The only annoying thing could be the Lamar Jackson, 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 excuse me, occasional rushing touchdown. Darren Waller, you know, the tight end strategy where you you take a guy like Waller and then you make sure you get another tight end. Jerry Judy has my flex. That's unbelievable. Miles Sanders, I mean, it's just value. Tony Pollard, I really like him as a running back. Garrett Wilson, unbelievable, really good value because he's a rookie. Goddard as my backup tight end. Trey Lance, the quarterback. Chase Edmonds. So what I should have done is I should have just drafted Matson here instead of Chase Edmonds, honestly, and then take David Bell and then take Tyler Algier and then take kicker defense. That's what I should have done, but I forgot about Matson and then I had to take him at the end. So that's why I did that. But um, I do not like drafting from this position personally. I don't know why. It's just not, I, I don't know. The last pick, I feel like this year, the last pick whether you have like the 10th overall pick or the 12th overall pick, it's not great. Um, but I mean, you could get Dell. I mean, you're going to get a really good receiver because there's Debo there, there's CD, there's, um, you know, De Devontae Adams. You're going to get a stud receiver. That's good. But it's like the running back. I don't know. I like, personally, I like having the number one overall pick and getting a potential stack where I get Jonathan Taylor, I get Cam Akers, and I get Travis Kelsey. But this is just another strategy, guys. That is going to do it for this video. Make sure you're following me on Twitter. Link to that's always in the description. I'm, of course, the Depressed Ginger. Thank you for watching.